Hi, Jay here. No, it's not Filament Friday, but it is Exotic Wednesday. That's a thing. I just made it up. Uh, I just got some material in from IGUS in Germany. IGUS is well known for their uh, energy chains, their um, cableways, their molded bearings, and a variety of different materials. Uh, they're pretty high performance materials. So they got into 3D printing filament, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago, and they've never really made a headway. The reason being is because their stuff is really expensive. It's like on par with uh, peak filament, you know, several hundred dollars for a roll. But every year I would request free samples from them, and they would send like a little 30 meter roll, you can see the indentation where it was in a bag, of their printing filament, which is this right here. It's very sandy feeling, and I'm going to talk about that. This is the yellow, or what's called the IPS 190. Now, this is a proprietary filament. They don't tell you what's in it, but from the chemicals they list and the melting temperatures, it's a glass Kevlar filled nylon. Um, on par with a material called Hydlar Z. It's a stock shaped material sold all throughout the United States. And we machine it at plastic products. But this is a printing filament and it's supposed to be 50 times more abrasion resistant than any other filament on the market. And again, they send you this little, you know, like 30 meter roll of it. So every year I print a couple little parts with it, you know, whatever. Well, this year, I had sent my, hey, can I get some free samples? Well, not only did they send me like 18 catalogs that are this big and weigh like seven and a half pounds, I got home, there's this huge box waiting on me. I was like, what? Usually it just comes in an envelope. So I opened the box and it had all these catalogs. And I was like, ah, great. You know, just killed a bunch of trees for nothing. I only need one catalog. And there was no filament, or what I thought was no filament. So I was like, oh man, well then, I found out they sent me a 250 gram roll of the IP70, the white version. Uh, and again, they don't tell you what's in this, but this has a, a coefficient of friction on par with oil-filled nylon. So I would say that this is some kind of a, um, it's, it's impact modified, so it has glass. And it's got some kind of either a Teflon or encapsulated lubrication material. Again, they won't tell you what's in it. But they sent me a roll, or a 250 gram roll, this time. So, and here's a little spec sheet. This is the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's the 170F and this is the 180F. The Iglador 180PF. Um, now this prints at 220 degrees on a 95 degree heated bed with capped on and glue. Um, again, you have to play with the settings because they really keep a lot of this stuff close to the best. They just give you the recommended temp and that's about it. And it's only through experiments I found out that the, the capped on with, with uh, the, uh, the craft stick glue, the scotch craft, craft stick glue, this stuff, uh, it actually sticks. Um, and there's other considerations to printing it, but I'm tickled. I got a freaking roll of this stuff to play with. It's very hydroscopic. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm digging up under the camera here. It's very hydroscopic, so you need to keep it in a mylar bag with desiccant. But so I'm doing that on the uh, Hatchbox Delta, or the Alpha Delta, or whatever they want to call it. And then on the uh, CR-10, I'm doing a large base in translucent PETG. Uh, who makes this? E-Sun. The E-Sun uh, transmit translucent uh, yellow P uh, PETG. And I've also got, which I'm not doing tonight, but I've also got this little cute roll of uh, blue polycarbonate. And I think even with all the mods I've done to my my Delta, I don't think I'm going to be able to get it hot enough to print. I mean, this stuff likes 280, 300C on the print head, and 
110 on the bed or more. So I'll really be pushing the limits of my uh, alpha. Um, but anyway, I've also got some of that. And I've also got a roll of carbon fiber. But I've got... Um, let me switch to the other side so you can see what I was talking about. Oops, sorry for making you draw. Watching you here, okay. But arriving tomorrow, I have a plug and play new heat assembly for the CR10 with the uh, plated, hardened Swiss nozzle and throat. So I'll be able to print very abrasive materials on this. I just switch, all you gotta do is like two screws and switch the head out. Um, so I'll be able to do some uh, carbon fiber and some other materials that are fairly abrasive to the, uh, the actual uh, extruding assembly. So that's Jay. It's Exotic Filament Wednesday. I just made that up, it's a thing. Uh, keep on printing, and that sounds so dorky every time I say it, but uh, have a good night.